City Road Chapel United Methodist is adapting to the changing needs of the neighborhood. The church campus has been here for since the 1800s uh, and we've grown over the years and now that we've gotten smaller it's, so it's a lot of, a lot of space for a few people. We began a uh, community meal that has continued to be a good mission as far as I'm concerned because the people really enjoy it. The food is good. We're feeding 200 or 200 plus actually now. Through outside partnerships, washing machines are set up in an old kitchen to offer a free laundry service. And the gym is home to a ministry that provides free showers. Without these groups, we, we would be struggling and I would imagine to keep our doors open. So. The daycare center became a family shelter by renting space to Community Care Fellowship, a United Methodist ministry serving people in transition. The stat that blew me away was during the year, it's 313 days that church space sits empty. And they allowed us to come in and build out temporary housing within their churches. And we serve, we have served 330 individuals to date. I was uh, um, homeless on the streets for about 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. I had gotten into a, um, a bad relationship. Melissa was once a shelter resident. She's now a house manager. Even on my days off, I still come in, you know. So, and I come in a couple hours early when I ain't even supposed to be here. <laughs> and I don't even clock in to come in and chat with everybody before I go to work, so yeah. Kimberly also came through the program. She helps families find permanent housing. I always dreamed of this kind of work, you know, being able to give back in some, you know, some way. Uh, once I got sober and really truly so and this was you know a great start right here Church, you know you used to make donations to programs and things and we still do that's not what I mean But now we have the program and this is my word in house so to say that we can contribute with the people and instead of just sending offerings someplace See you next 